everybody and welcome back to Dirty Bernie's Garage. Um, we have some beautiful weather in here going on. It's been in the 50s and everything for quite a bit. Um, today it's supposed to be at the 70s, 60s yesterday. That means one thing. Grass is growing and my favorite season's on its way, which is lawnmower season obviously. Anyway, uh, what we have here today this one's coming in for uh, spring service. This belongs to actually my next door neighbor. Um, we have a Toro TB240 uh, Honda GCB160 engine, uh, 2012, I think I'd mentioned. Anyway, um, she no doubt sees me out here playing with mowers all the time and whatnot. So she asked me to go ahead. Uh, yesterday, she said, uh, you know, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead, sharpen a blade and change the oil. Well, I'm going to do the right thing. I'm actually going to give her a few uh, little extras here. Not only because I want to see this mower last a little longer, but also I just want to be kind of neighborly. You know, I mean, she, very nice woman. She puts up with a lot, too. I mean, I'm always out here running mowers year and around. Uh, my son and his buddies get noisy at times and everything. And she's never once complained. So I, I'm going to give her a few extras kind of as a thank you. Anyway, let me give you a quick walk around here. I'm going to show you what's up with this thing. Um, like I said, for an older mower, it's not really that bad. She actually takes pretty good care of it, to be honest with you. Um, only thing I saw really out of place, the uh, air breather had been installed backwards. It's got a big dent in it from hitting a thing here. But the filter itself isn't that bad. I think I can actually clean that up and we can get the rest of the season out of it. But... Um, the deck is actually in pretty good shape for the year. You know, I see these things come in all the time, just rotted in half and everything. Uh, this woman takes care of this mower, though. She, she always, it always stays inside when not being used. Um, one, one issue here, front tire is a shot. I was actually going to attempt to take a grinder and grind some new stuff, but I don't trust it. These tires are just too thin. I'm a, I could very well damage that. So I'm going to either keep uh, keep an eye out for some new ones or maybe uh, if she wants to buy new ones offline, you know, online, we can get them. Either way. Anyway, the uh, wheels are a little noisy here. Um, the back ones, they don't roll too awful bad, but we're going to go ahead and take all four wheels off. Regrease the hubs, uh, oil up the uh, cell propel mechanism. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this uh, cover and gas tank off. We're gonna make sure all the cooling fins are good and everything. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take the bowl off of the carburetor. Make sure that's nice and clean in there. And then after that, we're gonna give the block and everything a good wash. But give me a few minutes. I'm gonna get this thing apart and we'll uh, show you what's going on with it. All right. So I went ahead and popped the uh, cover off, and I'm very impressed. This engine's pretty much spotless under here. I don't know if she may have a compressor and blow it out every once in a while or what, but this thing's checking out beautiful for the age. You can tell it's been burning pretty good. Spark plug's in nice shape. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up on a thing, but um, I have no problem reusing this plug. Um, this, this impressed the heck out of me. There's your float bowl. Clean as the day it was brand new. I mean, for this is a 2012 mower, so, you know, it's, a, it's an older thing. Again, it shows it's been taken care of. I mean, you see these things brand new with all rust in them, so. Um, now, as far as the wheels, this is just a wear and tear item. Luckily, these wheels have um, the uh, steel sleeve in them. So it's just a matter of actually cleaning this hub up with some sandpaper. I already, uh, I cleaned this one up to show you. I'm gonna go ahead, I'll put a little bit of grease on there, put the wheel back on, the thing will roll like a million dollars. The uh, front hubs are the same. They're all gummed up. Um, let me show you real quick. This is the gear for the self-propel unit. And you're gonna notice it only spins one way free. That's because it, well, that's, you know, it's that way you can push the mower and it's not in self propel the whole time. Um, but 
you got the gear here. Notice these little notches in it. And then you have a pin that would go right in that hole in the shaft, the little pin right here. That's what catches when the gear is turned the right way. It actually, catch, the pin catches on one of the things there. So I got this side apart just to show you, but we're gonna you know, clean all that up, clean the gear up, clean the hub up. All four wheels on this mower are gonna roll like a million bucks again. So um, that's it for right now. I gotta go ahead and start cleaning this thing up a little bit, but I'm, uh, this thing's very impressive, I think. All right, and we're back. Um, I went ahead and started buttoning this thing back up. Now, normally what I would do uh, when I had all these plastics off, that's when I would actually spray down the engine and get everything all set. Uh, in this case, I didn't actually need to. Um, where it was so clean under there anyway, I went ahead and buttoned it back up. So for right now, uh, the last thing to be done with a small well be you know cleaning everything up. I'll put a bag over the carburetor and everything, clean the block up and whatnot. Anyway, um, yeah, we got some real good spinning wheels here. And the front ones don't spin as easy because of that gear, but they're uh, you know everything's actually spinning as as it should. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you noticed in the original video, this side was missing a hubcap. Um, good thing I had one in stock. At, uh, up at the farm, I got about 35 billion of them. So we're all set there. I didn't have a problem donating one. Well, we gotta keep this thing looking good. Um, so up next, what we're gonna be doing, uh, we're gonna be changing the oil and doing a blade. Uh, these Hondas do not have a drain plug. So what you're gonna basically do, you're gonna take this dipstick tube out of here and tip the mower up on its side. <clears throat> and it's gonna drain out the hole there. You can pump it out too if you wanted to, but it, it's just as easy for me to go ahead and uh, do that. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and take the, pop the blade off, uh, clean it up underneath a little bit and everything. So that's, we'll uh, be back in a minute for that part. All right, so now we're underneath the mower. Um, I have it actually tipped up on its side. I have the dipstick out, oil's draining as we speak. Um, <laughs> I have one one thing here going on that I kind of knew what was gonna happen. I got another shock and discovery. Um, this mower is primarily used as a mulch mower. I, she may have bought it brand new and use it like that. No, I normally don't care for mulch mowers because people don't take care of them. They uh, let the grass get too high and everything. Um, and it, it, it is death on a mower. This particular one, I have to give this woman credit. Um, like I said, living right next door to her. I've seen this woman countless times last summer you know, 90, 100 degrees, she'll get out there, she'll get home from work, uh, go in the house long enough to change her clothes and then she's out mowing. Uh, she mows her lawn faithfully. I will, I gotta give her that. I mean, I don't do that. I, I, I she may actually be a little bit older than I am. Um, I, you know, I just, yeah, usually I'm watching her mow as I'm, I'm sitting on my front porch with a cold beverage going on. But anyway, um, so she has um, some uh, flower gardens and whatnot that she tends to, uh, and they all have rocks in them. And every here and there she'll get a little too close and she'll bang some of the rocks. I've heard this thing going off. I cringe every time I hear it, but you know, it's not my mower, not my problem. But um, anyway, this blade is actually trashed. You could see it's bent. We got the thing here. It's actually missing a lot of it over here. But <laughs> one, the, the biggest thing that I'm, that's actually shocking me right now, this blade's on backwards. This mower actually spins, uh, this engine spins clockwise. 
<laughs> so that blade is actually completely backwards. It's been cutting on the mulching edge for, I don't know. I guess she'll, she'll know that more than anybody. Anyway, um, I should have a blade here in stock that'll fit this. And I'm also, you know, I used one, of course. No biggie. I'll take one sharpen it up. And I'm also going to be popping this uh, plastic piece here up. It's going to show us our drive belt. Um, not only show us a belt, but we're going to clean out in there because it catches grass and whatnot. So give me a minute. We're going to head and uh, do that real quick. All right. And here we are. Uh, I got this plastic cover removed and everything. I am nothing but absolutely 100% and 110% uh, amazed here. Look at the base of this engine. Look at how clean this thing is. Um, now you're gonna have your your guard the plastic piece here covering that, but there is absolutely no oil leaks whatsoever anywhere. Um, even when I pulled the plate off, there was there's normally grass jammed up everywhere. There wasn't like that on this one. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm really amazed with this. I really am. Uh, but anyway, what we're gonna do here, so you got your belt going up, and it's gonna go over here. This is your transmission for this. On this particular mower, there's about eight or nine bolts you have to take off to get to the, uh, to take this top cover off. And I hate doing that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna blow some air through here. We're gonna get the rest of the collected grass out of there real quick. We'll see what comes out. All right, that wasn't bad at all. So I don't know, this mower may have been serviced at one point or whatever. Um, now we do have some grass built up on a deck and everything, but that is actually from that blade being on backwards. So I'm not, I'm really not concerned with that. But you know, what I really like to see, the belt's still in good shape. The cable's still working beautiful um, and all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this deck up a little bit, find another blade for it, put it on there. But you know, this is, this is something I want to show people. This is what happens when you actually take care of a lawnmower. Uh, 2012 machine looking like this underneath, you can't beat it. I mean, if you were to buy this mower today, this is about a $500 lawnmower. So, the little extra time or whatever she took to take care of this thing, it paid off. So... Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to find the blade and everything and we're going to sharpen it up and we're going to clean this thing up and we're going to see you in that driveway here shortly. We're going to fire this thing off, see what she's going to do. All right, so we got this thing all uh, cleaned up. Uh, this is a used blade. I got it, uh, I think I believe I got it balanced as good as I can get it. It's straight and everything. We're going to find out that shortly, but... Here's the, uh, all the carnage that come out from under the deck. Um, now a lot of people, I, I'm watching a lot of YouTubers say different things to coat in the deck and everything. My own personal belief is you just gotta keep the thing clean is what you gotta do with it. You can't put paint on these decks. It, you know, you hit some sand, it's like sandblasting it with a blade. So, um, I personally would rather put nothing. I'd just rather keep it clean. And like I said, other than this deck uh, with the blade being backwards, uh, this thing would probably actually keep itself clean the way this, this woman uses it. So uh, now we're gonna go ahead and put it up back on its side and go from there with it. All right, and there we have it. We have, uh, I went ahead and cleaned everything up. Um, uh, in a case like this, WD-40 is your friend. I'm telling you right now, guys, easiest way to keep a mower looking good, not only looking good, but it's going to help protect the paint and everything. 
uh, plastic, all of that. Just go ahead, put it on there, spray a little bit on there, let it sit a minute, wipe it off with a rag. Um, this mower has some paint coming off here and everything. If she had been doing that since new, this, that would probably wouldn't be there. But hey, I'm not really gonna, it's not the end of the world. But anyway, that's a finished product anyway. <laughs> and uh, another funny thing, we have its mate right there. This one actually belongs to a woman across the street. Uh, I think it's like a year or two newer than this, but um, I'm not going to go ahead and I'm not going to film that one just because it's the same exact thing. But I'm going to uh, be doing the same exact job as I did on this one on that. Uh, another excellent, fantastic neighbor right here. So we're going we're gonna to take care of her. But, but anyway, let's go ahead and I'm going to uh, put you on the stand here. Let's hear this thing run. I have, I didn't even bother starting this thing before I had uh, started working on it just because of the fact that I knew it ran so I'm just hoping we don't have any vibration or anything out of it Let's see what we got though so. <laughs> real happy with that because the uh the blade that i put on obviously it's not bent whatsoever there's no vibration whatsoever in this mower so anyway um i hope you liked the video and um like comment subscribe and all that and we'll uh um i gotta finish that up and i got another build coming up but and then we're gonna get back to that quantum and a bunch of other stuff that we got going on so um thank you all very much for watching and have a great day